biogas it's a gas that is usually produced under anaerobic respiration or an under anaerobic uh, condition anaerobic condition is a condition which doesn't require oxygen this is general farm where we do things related to farming and uh, today I just want to show you something that we have been able to do in our farm and uh, it's all about sustainable farming how we are utilizing rabbit manure for us to make a uh, biogas from it biogas simply is a natural gas that you get from animal waste and the, one of the animal waste that you can use it is rabbit and uh, I just want to show you how our biogas plant usually function. So here is uh, where we do the mixing, the mixer. We usually open this uh, this hole here, so that we, uh, the moment we pour here uh, some mixed um, uh, some mixed dung, we can be able to um, to take this dung up to the other reactor so this is the mixer so from the mixer we move to the reactor this is where the action usually takes place remember biogas is um it's a gas that is usually produced under anaerobic respiration or an under anaerobic uh, condition anaerobic condition is a condition which doesn't require oxygen so you make sure that you enclose uh, your your your, your cylinder in that matter. So they usually come in different forms. So for us is a, a bag, biogas bag. Some usually dug uh, the underground. Some usually construct using maybe bricks, such such things like that. But this one is a new technology and it's working very well. So this is the reactor. From the reactor, we usually have this um, these pressers, pressers basically they help in compressing the gas. When the gas is low, you can be able to compress the gas. So from there, we move to, from the reactor, we move to the exit. So we have the exit here. Remember we, we had the, uh, where we were um, pumping our gas. So here is the, where we were pumping our, our dung. So here is the exit. So the exit is usually here. So we did here a U-turn. So from there, here is where we collect our slurry. So as you can see, here there is an exit. So this one usually just happen automatically. You just you don't want you, you don't need any any whatever any science on it. So it's just the pressure that usually makes this. Um, Dung to exit. So this is the exit that usually happen um, in our in our plant. So this one is um, what you see here is a, a a very refined fertilizer. So we usually capitalize this uh, by fertilizer to our main farm, to our onion and our, and vegetable farm as you as you. As I will be showing you in one of the subsequent videos. So what you usually do is uh, we usually have a, a submerged uh, pump that is solar powered that usually just pump this in and slurry. It's called slurry. That usually pump this slurry and we take it to the um, to the farm. Here is where the gas usually comes out. Um, this one is um, to ease, just to ease the, uh, when you have excess gas, it's just to ease the excess gas. So it's basically, it's water. It's just water, we usually just um, add in water in it. And uh, here is a, something like a filter, where we just do the filtration of the gas that we have collected. So the gas moves, like this one, up to the kitchen. So I'll be showing you in one of the videos how the uh, how the gas usually burn. So basically, this how biogas operate, and I hope that you have learned more from it. So we have a, a, a reactor 
and then we have the uh, the um, uh, exit that you can be able to see so thank you thank you for listening to me subscribe to our channel if it's new here if you are new here to our channel please subscribe subscribe to our channel and uh, comment to our videos and also like our videos for us to learn more about farming so thank you and god bless you